Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shira and I'm a photographer based in Manila, Philippines. If you are new here, my channel is all about thrifting and all the secondhand things I love finding and using in my shoots and everyday life. So if that's sort of your thing, I hope you stay and subscribe. I have a cool video today. It's a, about a place I don't really, I don't think I've ever talked about or I've never done a haul from on this channel, but it's a place I go to all the time. We've been going there for years and years. A lot of the things in my house are sourced from there. A lot of my clothes are from there. Decor, um, just random things, lots of random things. I'm talking about the Japan Surplus shop in Bangkal, Makati. It's actually called Henry's Japan Surplus. I will put the exact address here and also down below in the description box. It's quite hard to find. There's no big sign, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's it's gonna stare you right in the face because there's just so many things usually displayed outside their store. So I will only be showing clothing items today because the last time I went, which was actually my first workout of the year, all the clothes were only 20 pesos each. And I think that is an awesome deal considering a lot of the thrift shops nowadays tend to go a little bit higher than 20 pesos. So I was so pleased to see that sign when I walked in. Normally they have things for 100 pesos or 50 pesos, but because they had a lot of things left over from the holidays or from 2023, the entire middle section of the store was just a mountain of clothes. And there's nothing I love more than climbing up on top of that mountain and digging stuff out. I spent only 300 pesos for all the clothing items I'm going to be showing you in this video. So do the math, 20 pesos, spent 300 total. I also actually bought three books, but maybe I can show that towards the end of the video. A lot of these are winter clothes or clothes for colder climates, but for those who are Lamigan like I am or if you work in colder environments such as air-conditioned offices or if you plan to go abroad or if you plan to go to Tagaytay or Baguio wherever it is a little more chilly so 20 pesos I think is an excellent deal for things of this quality let's get right into it I think I should start with this top I'm wearing it's very Riverdale I love the stripes it reminds me of a bowling shirt if it were short-sleeved, but it's such a 1950s sporty look. I'm just wearing it now a bit more casually with a white tee and um, vintage jeans. But if I were to style this, I would probably wear plaid pants or trousers and wingtip brogues. That would be super cute. So we have this sheer polka dot blouse. A lot of the items have shoulder pads and I used to remove the shoulder pads when I used to thrift more. I just always got rid of the shoulder pads but later on I realized I started to like the look of them. Big shoulder pads are really what date the piece of clothing so instead of looking like it came from the 80s, if I wore it without the shoulder pads, it just ended up looking a bit lousy because obviously it lost its shape. So I've stopped removing the shoulder pads. I just wear them as they are, big shoulders and all. So this I think would go really nicely with white pants and I would do either a colored bag or a colored shoe just because it's pretty neutral so it would be fun to add that pop of color. I love how sheer it is and also the length of the sleeve is one I don't go for too often so it's gonna be interesting to see how I will be styling this later. This next piece is a dress. It is quite big on me and has a few little holes you can't really see them because obviously it's black, so unless you really, really come up to me, you won't see the hole, so I don't mind stuff like that. I would wear this with a black 
turtleneck or maybe a white turtleneck would add better contrast to this and since it is quite loose um, or quite big on me I could also belt it or I could just wear a coat over it because I really like the color I would wear it with white boots or black boots I could also do some socks and cute Mary Janes or brogues depends what I find in the closet later here we have just a nice lightweight um, pair of pants they are very stretchy I also love the burnt orange color also the material is really nice this is something I probably couldn't wear to a shoot because it's quite thin and I am on my knees all the time and I carry a lot of equipment so I would for sure ruin the fabric but this is something I can wear if I have people over at home or if I had to run errands that didn't require me carrying a lot of things um, this again is a great find for 20 pesos the color is so rich and vibrant I could wear this with a band tee and just sandals for just hanging out at home this one I was also super thrilled to find this is the cutest little vest with these roses as buttons I think I was attracted to this vest because back in grade school we had international weeks or international day where you had to dress up um, in the national costume of whatever country was assigned to your class and I distinctly remember being Germany <laughs> one year and we had vests that had this exact kind of like detail so um, I would wear this with a white peasant blouse perhaps and a skirt if I wanted to make it more modern I could also wear it with black suede trousers with nothing underneath and just leave it like this which is a cropped length and then maybe a statement choker and a nice little bag and some heels this will be very exciting to dress up and layer I never leave Japan surplus without a blazer or two or three because for 20 pesos where else can you find blazers of this quality and the great thing about buying clothes from the Japan surplus is that the sizes are usually my size or as they say Asian sized or quite petite so I don't have to have anything altered the sleeves or the exact length um, even the pants are not ever super long the torsos are always just exactly the right size so this one um, I am not sure if this is super super vintage it doesn't look that old but the quality is really good it's in perfect condition it's thick, it has shoulder pads, it's quite heavy. This one I would wear just to any normal shoot in a studio if it's a little colder or if I had to attend a meeting, but I would also dress it down or make it a little bit cooler with a graphic tee underneath or some fun pants. There are also a lot of turtlenecks, which is my favorite thing to thrift. This one looks just like one of my sofas or armchairs <laughs> covered in this fabric I recall an older video um, where I said I am really attracted to things that look like curtains or upholstery and this is an example of that it looks just like something you would use to cover your couch I really love this material it feels like terry cloth it feels like a dish towel and it's just cute because it has like little round things it looks like a garden um, with pebbles and moss uh, I would wear this with checkered pants I could also wear it with plain black pants just to match the buttons or anything with an earthy shade would work for the bottoms super cute um, it's loose with a little bat wing once again and shoulder pads so this one I think 
is one of the most interesting pieces I got from the haul that day. So this is a cropped blazer or maybe a bolero, but it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit longer than that. I really am intrigued by the fabric. It's velvety, but it also has a um, snake skin sort of pattern. I can't really describe it. I don't think I own anything in this material. So it was really interesting for me to pull out because I only really saw the sleeve, so I wasn't sure what it was. Um, and when I pulled it out, I just hoped for the best and out this came. Again, it has shoulder pads and gold buttons. The buttons are also really interesting. They're almost like little wire rosettes. I was thinking I could wear this over a skin toned slinky dress, maybe an ivory dress. I am not really sure how to style this as of yet, but yeah, I'm imagining something peach underneath or maybe even something black and um, thin strappy stilettos just because it's such a heavy piece on top so I want to balance that with something thinner at the bottom and gold accessories of course this one is really nice wool it's slightly cropped and it has just a wide um, open neckline I love this lapel it only has one button here again shoulder pads the buttons are the same color as the coat so i can wear either silver or gold jewelry with this underneath i can wear this knitted top with a very very big turtleneck this is gonna look so nice um perhaps if we travel somewhere super cold it's not super thick so maybe this would work in spring instead just alone like that with jeans for a very 90s look and flats. Here's another cold weather staple. Just a cute knit mock neck top with shoulder pads. It resembles popcorn. It looks like plain salted popcorn. Uh, it's a really fun top. This is something I know would cost way more in the mall. Um, this is a knit dress, long sleeved, uh, around knee length or below the knee. This isn't a color I really gravitate towards. I don't have a lot of gray or cement colored things, but perhaps I can g gift this to someone. I can give this to a friend. I just couldn't leave it there because it was so nice. Um, again, in great condition for 20 pesos. Yeah, this would make um, an awesome gift. And then, again, 20 pesos. Obviously, by the title, everything is 20 pesos, but I just have to reiterate that because look at this. Uh, this is a... I feel like this is a water-repellent coat. I love the color of this so much. It's like a dusty, dusky rose. The sleeves are the perfect length. Um, it doesn't wrinkle so much. So this will be something useful for traveling or just walking around the new city. I've lost count, but we have two more items. Just cute plaid shorts. Um, they're quite thick. I would just wear it with sandals or yeah, probably sandals or brogues or loafers. I could wear this with loafers and then just a button-down shirt or a loose crew neck sweater and then a blazer over it. Um, it's a great colorway. So I can wear this with black, beige, brown, white, or even something like this would work or something unexpected such as a light blue. The last one is this fun, almost tiger print looking top. I am perhaps drawn to bat wing things, but this is cute again with a high neck. Um, I would wear this to the airport because it's loose um, and comfy and you can spot me 
from many counters away like I wouldn't get lost wearing something like this which is how I think about my airport outfits actually like I am easily distracted so for my companions to find me I usually have to wear something really bright or colorful um, so that they can spot me and reel me back in so yeah maybe this is an airport outfit and that's it for my Japan surplus haul. I'm so happy I finally got to do this after many years of shopping there. But I think the timing was perfect with everything being 20 pesos. The price is going to remain like that until the mountain becomes flat. So you have time to go to Bangkal and check out the pieces. You will need a lot of patience and if you're really not used to digging, you might need to bring a mask with you or gloves if you're just feeling weird about it, but I honestly just dive right in. Um, I am too excited uh, when I see mountains like that, so I just go for it. I am still okay after years of thrifting, so don't worry about it too much. And you will be rewarded with things like these. I hope you enjoy your digging there, and if you want to see more of my outfits and how I use them in shoots or in real life, all my social media accounts are here. I currently have 9 Instagram accounts, and then a lot of my costumes are used on Tumblr. You're gonna see a lot of my personal shoots there. I also have a TikTok account, um, shiraluna.tiktok. I try to <laughs> wear more outfits there. I'm not too active, but yeah, if you just want to check it out, it's shiraluna.tiktok. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!